um, God began to talk to us uh, on Sunday as we began to tap into um, the benefits of tithing. For those of you that can see my screen, uh, uh, I, you can see my PowerPoint in case you want to write down these scriptures um, uh, that, that, that we'll be uh, mentioning tonight and have been mentioning in this PowerPoint. I, I don't have the time to go back over all of my notes, uh, but on Sunday, we talked about benefit number one was how he will open up the windows of heaven. But maybe we talked about that uh, last, last week. Uh, uh, last Tuesday, open up the wonders of heaven. But on Sunday, we talked about he will pour you out a blessing. And and the blessing is not blessings with an S, but he, the scripture said, I will pour you out a blessing. And we found out Sunday that that blessing um, is, is, is refers back to Genesis chapter 12, verse number two, where God made a covenant with Father Abraham, uh, the, uh, with, the, with the father of faith. And he told him that, uh, uh, Abraham, I need you to leave your, your family and leave your kindred, go to a land that I will show you. But then he told Abraham, he said, because of your obedience and because of your faith, I'm going to bless you, make your name great, uh, and make of you a great nation. And uh, uh, everybody that bless you, I'll bless, bless them. And everybody that curse you, I'll curse them. Uh, you don't have to retaliate. You don't have to fight back. I'll take care of them because you of this covenant that I made with you. And so uh, Galatians um, uh, 3 and 13 and 14 tell us that we are the seed of Abraham. It says that, um, uh, that, that he, 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 he was made a curse for us. But because curse is everyone that hangeth on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. <laughs> I get happy when I start talking about the word. So, 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 so that blessing he made with uh, that covenant he made with Abraham. Now, when we tithe, that's why Abraham tithe over there in Genesis fourteen uh, to Melchizedek because uh, he was setting the example for those that would come behind him. We are the seed of Abraham. The Bible said, if you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. Watch this, an heir according to the promise. Man, I'm getting already happy. And, and, and so because we are heirs or seeds or children of Father Abraham, then, then the covenant that he made with him now become the covenant that is made with us. Uh -huh. Abraham been going off the scene, but we're still benefiting. Oh, bless God, from the covenant God made with him. And Jesus was our connector between Abraham and, and, and us. <laughs> Jesus became the mediator, if you will. Y'all won't talk to me. Uh -huh. So, so, so uh, God connected Jesus to Abraham and we're connected to Jesus. So that's why the scriptures say, if you be Christ. Uh -huh. So if we're connected to Christ, we're connected to Abraham. And so now that we're connected to Christ and we're connected to Abraham, that same covenant, that same blessing is ours if we tithe and connect to that, that connects to that blessing. Y'all all right? So the blessing has already been set up for us, but we have to make that connection. We have to make that connection. And so when we rob God, we, we don't, we, we, we cut off, God showed us Sunday how his hands are open. But when we rob him and don't tithe, then we call him his hand to be tied. It's not that we are cursed. It, it, people say, God, we're not under the curse anymore. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We ain't got to argue about that. But the 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 the, the uh, tithe was before the, the law anyway. So it, I don't think it even applies to that. But okay, if, if you want to get stuck right there, stay right there. But I'm trying to tell us that we tie God's hand. God cannot go against his word. God can only bless us if we obey him. We heard that tonight. We got to obey. So the, if, if you're obedient and, 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 and obey, and, and then you eat the good of the land. But if you uh, uh, disobey, you'll be devoured with the sword. That's Isaiah chapter 1. And so, so, so when we obey God, it has nothing to do with God 
or the devil. It has something to do with us connecting to the word of God. But when we disobey God, it still don't have anything to do with the devil. Uh -huh. we, the devil on my track. The devil trying to stop me. No, you're stopping yourself because you're being disobedient. And when we be disobedient, God cannot bless us because it, 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 it will make us think it's okay. Oh, Jesus. Now, this kind of stuff we do with our children, we go ahead on and bless them even though they don't obey. We go ahead and get the stuff for them even though they don't clean their room. We go ahead and, and get stuff for them even though they don't make good grades. We go ahead and do stuff for them and they won't wash the dishes. They won't take out the trash, but we still go ahead and get the iPhone. We still go ahead and, and, and get the clothes they want and buy the tennis shoe they want. But, but God said, no, 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 no. If you disobey me, I'm going to have to let you still be governed by my word. You're governed by my word if you obey. You're governed by my word if you don't obey. And I cannot go against my word. That's why the Bible said before heaven and earth shall fail, my word, my word won't fail. My, before heaven and earth pass away, uh, my word won't fail. In other words, my word, I'm, I'm, I'm bound to my word. I cannot go against, to, for God to go against his word is to go against himself. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So if God goes against his word, he goes against himself. Are y'all all right? So we, we found it out Sunday. So, so he said he will pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. So when we tap into the blessing, we have more than enough. He always bless you with more. We found out Sunday that God only uh, uh, bless in abundance. He, uh, he, he don't do scattered showers. <laughs> a little here, a little dab will do. If, if, if that's the case, there's some trouble on the line. There's some failure on the line. And, the, and, and it's always on our part. My grandma told me years ago, God rest her soul. She told me uh, the failure is always in us. It's never in God. So if we got scattered showers, Sometimes we get blessings, and sometimes we don't get blessings, and sometimes we the, the way it's made, and we, 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 we need to find out where the sin is. Because the Bible says, if thou doest not well, what I wish I had Bible readers, if thou doest not well, sin lies at the door. Are y'all all right? If we don't do well, that's it's some part, somewhere that we are coming short, and God is saying, when you fix that, then I can get you in the steady flow. Somebody says steady flow. Put that in the chat. I want to be in the steady flow. I want to be in the abundance of rain. I want to be where it's overflowing. There's no gap. There's no lack. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Are y'all all right? Okay. So, 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 uh, I, that's what we talked about Sunday. Okay. The next thing, uh, benefit number three, benefit number one was I opened the window. The windows. Benefit number two, I pull you out of a blessing that would be room, that won't be room to receive. Benefit number three is what we're trying to start tonight. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Now, 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 this is key. This is really key. I understand, you know, we, we, like, we like the other part, pull you out of blessing, open up the wonders. Yeah, God, bring it on, pour it out on me, overflow me. That's good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I, this right here stands out to me. I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. <laughs> the rebuke of the devourer means putting an end to insects, pests, locusts, plagues, or even the weather and anything else that may cause serious harm to the crop. So God is saying, I'm going to stand guard and rebuke what it, re, whatever trying to eat up your harvest, I'm going to rebuke it. Now, 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 now make, sure you, make sure you get this. I understand we got the power and God, whatsoever we bind on earth, it, it, it be bind in heaven. I, I get that and I believe that. But it's, I'm telling you, when God rebukes something, it's rebuked. I'm telling you. <laughs> when God said, peace be still, peace be still. Uh huh. I'm not saying it don't happen. We were saying the point I'm trying to make is God has to find a say. God has to find a say. And so what I'm saying, God said, I, I I I ain't asking you to rebuke it. 
I ain't asking you to get the intercessors. I ain't asking you to find Elder Maria and, and get the intercessor team to rebuke for you or, or, or get your prayer partner. No, no, no. I will rebuke. I will stand guard. I will make sure the incense and the locust and the caterpillar and the palmer worm and, 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 and all these pests and things that come in to eat up your finances, to eat up your harvest, to eat up your increase, I'll make sure it don't happen. Are y'all all right? Oh, yeah, I'm getting happy. Yeah, yeah. I'll make sure, uh, even in the economy, when the economy is not good, and when prices are sky high, I'll make sure it don't eat up your, I'll make sure you have enough so you can still get what you need from the grocery store and still have enough to be a blessing. Y'all ain't saying that. <laughs> I'll rebuke the devourer. I'll rebuke the devourer. John 10, 10, you know what it said? The thief come to steal, kill, and to destroy. That's his purpose. He stay up all night while you sleep and slumber, trying to figure out how can he steal from you? How can he uh, cause something to, to, to be taken from you? That's his job, and he stays on it 24-7. He don't take vacation. He don't go on cruises. <laughs> He's always somewhere trying to devour, trying to eat up your stuff, trying to steal from you. But God said, I stand guard. When you're tired, I rebuke the devourer. Hour. I rebuke when God, man, God, over there, where's that scripture, Holy Ghost? It says, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Uh huh. And, and, and the old saints, when I was growing up, they, they didn't mind saying, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. <laughs> and that means, um, even if you don't want to stop, you're finna be stopped now because the Lord rebuke you. And so God is saying, I rebuke the devourer. I'm putting the devil to, 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 to a halt. I'll let him know, back up, brother. You, 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 you gone too far. So, so, so I will rebuke the devourer. I will make sure that the pests and the locusts won't eat your stuff up. Y'all all right tonight? Okay, look at this. Locusts and caterpillars feed on the green foliage of plants. I don't know if y'all can see my screen, but but you will initiate these pests in your life when you hold back the time. Not the devil, not God. You will initiate these pests in your life. Why is my stuff? Why am I? I, I can't pay my bills. Why I seem like I'm I'm losing money. Why it seem like I I, I, I had twenty a hundred dollars and, and, and now. I, I I I got some gas, but now I I I can't tell you where the hundred dollar went. I can't tell you where the change went. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know where it went. The the locust got it. <laughs> the caterpillar got it. Some got it, and God gonna make sure. That's why I said we ain't gotta talk about being cursed when you don't obey God and give Him the tie. Something gonna eat the money up. Trust me, the tie gonna go flat. Uh huh. The car gonna need a water pump. The refrigerator gonna go out, and the washing machine too. Uh huh. Something is gonna happen to eat up the the the, the harvest. I'm telling you, I've seen it happen. I I can write books on this. I've been on the blessed side, and I've been on the side where I disobey God. I've been on the side where I, I ain't gonna pay tie this week. I double up next time. And next time I tell the same lie and still didn't pay tithe. And I look around six and seven, eight months have passed. And I promise you, I paid more. I paid out more by, by, by my stuff getting ate up. Uh huh. I got behind on every bill. Uh huh. My credit was jacked up. I couldn't get a lot that pop on credit. Y'all ain't saying nothing, but I'm telling you, I know where God can put you. And now my credit score is, 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 is in the high 700s. I know what God can do, but you gotta obey God. When you don't obey him, you will lose. You will suffer. He will allow the pest and the locusts and the worm to eat your stuff up. Are y'all all right? I'm, I, I'm, so, but, but, but he said, when you're tired, when you're tired, I will rebuke. I will rebuke. Let me tell you what God told me. Let me tell you what he told me. It's on this slide, slide right here. When God says he will rebuke the devourer for your sake, God told me that uh, he stands as Jehovah Sabaoth. One of the names of God. Jehovah Sabaoth. Pests are an automatic. 
But when we tithe, pests, okay, and try this way, pests come to um, uh, attack everybody's stuff. Okay, anytime we have a, 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 a outbreak of a, 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 a pests or locusts or flies or whatever it is, or drought or cold or, or freezing, it affects everybody's crop. The farmer on your side of the street, the farmer down the street, the farmer around the corner, the farmer across across town. Why? Because it affects every so pests are automatic. However, the tide causes God to become a pest control technician in your life. And he sees to it that your harvest is protected even when other people's harvests are affected. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. He stands in your life as Jehovah Sabaoth. Now let me tell you what a Jehovah Sabaoth means. Je a Sabaoth is a military term. The Hebrew word Sabaoth often has a military connotation such as a group of fighting men or an army. Samuel 17 and 45 and Isaiah 13 and 4 if you, if you need some reference. Sometimes Sabaoth refers to the host of heaven, Psalms 148 and 2, and 1 Kings 22 and 19. Picturing God as the Lord of the multitude of angels. So God stands as the, the host, the Lord of a multitude of angels. And he dispatched those angels and said, go take care of uh, the McClure harvest. Take care of the Jones harvest. Take care of the Barnes harvest. Go stand God, glory to God, at the Mitchell's house. Go stand God, glory to God, at, at, at the Sutton house. Go stand God at the Boyd house. Are y'all all right? Even though other people are being affected, other people are losing their job, other people increase is being ate up. But 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 you still you still functioning. You still paying bills. You still going on trips. You still eat whatever you want to eat. Why? Because God is standing God to make sure that that what what affecting other people don't affect you. Are y'all all right? When you're tired, uh huh. That's that's protection. That's that's that that's that's insurance, if you will. Oh, glory to God. And so God is saying, when you're tired, you ain't got to worry about the economy. You ain't got to worry about who get in the in, in the chair as the president. I don't give a flip flying behind who become the president. It really makes me no never mind. Because I, my hope is in God. My trust is in him. And if I tie, I'm still going to eat. If, if Trump become president or Biden, it don't make no difference. Why? Because my hope is not in the White House. My hope is in God's house. My hope is in the presence of God. My hope is in the kingdom of God. I sow in the kingdom. And if I sow in the kingdom, I reap from the kingdom. Are y'all all right? Okay. Okay, let me try to calm down just a little bit. So God said, I'll rebuke the devourer. I'll stand guard. I'll stand at attention. I'll make sure your stuff don't get ate up. I'll make sure the locusts don't eat holes in your stuff. The Bible said when we don't tie, it's like putting in bags with holes in it. I'm telling you, I've been there where you said, what happened to my money? I thought I had this. I thought I had that. I have seen time. I thought somebody came in my house and stole my money because I'm telling you, it was being eaten up. And I'm telling you, you're not going to make ends meet. You're not going to have enough. You're not going to come out of debt. You're not going to be able to pay all your bills when you rob God. <laughs> I'm telling you, it won't happen. He'll make sure it don't happen. Because why? If he let, let it happen, you'll say, well, hey, 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 ain't no big deal about paying time. You, you know, pay, you don't let that happen when you don't pay it. But some of y'all, you may not tell me your testimony. You may not share it with me. But I, I, I got my own experiences for robbing God. And I've seen things happen. I've told some of my story in the, in, in, in the church. Told about, about my car that wouldn't even back up. I, I ride down the street trying to hold my door, my my, my pass, my uh, driver door closed. Why? Because I was rubbing God. And my stuff kept on getting jacked up and ate up. Y'all all right? But he said, when you're tired, I will rebuke 
the devourer. I won't let him jack your stuff up. I will, I'll let your car run longer than when it should have ran. I'll let your tires last longer. Y'all ain't say that when they should have been unpopped already. I, I'll let them go further than what they would have. I'll let you get more miles on them than you should have got. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Woo! I see this happen. I stretch what you got. I'll I, I, I make it um, go further than where it should have went. <laughs> I'll give you stuff you never thought you would get. I'll give you favor with God and man. I'll let people do stuff for you that you didn't even know they were going to do. Why? Because I'm making sure I rebuke the devourer. Are y'all okay? Woo, my time is up. I, I, I got five more minutes. In my closing tonight, let me tell you, you need and you and I need God to rebuke our devourer because the devil don't like you. Okay, you need some scripture. Simon, the devil desires to sift you. He wants you that he may sift you like wheat. He mad at you because you are a threat to his kingdom. You are a threat to his empire. So let me tell you, you got a devil. Okay, you need some more scripture? Uh, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walking the Bible, seeking whom he may devour. Oh, I thought you I thought you needed some scripture. I, I'm talking about the devourer. So he walked to and fro, up and down in the earth. Even when the sons came to present themselves before God in J Job chapter 1, the devil came with them. <laughs> Glory to God. So I'm trying to tell you, the devil don't like you. The devil want to kill you. The devil want to want you to be broke, busted, and disgusted, and can't be trusted. But if you tithe, and if you obey God, and if you do right by God, God will make the devil behave. God will make the devil take his hand off your stuff. God will let him know, step back. Don't touch that. that that's holy. That's my child. And you are not going to come in and wreak havoc in their life. Are y'all all right? But we can't be in and off and off and on with our time. Because we saw Sunday how God's hand is open, then it's closed. Open, then it's closed. We don't want God out. My hands are open, my hands are closed. This month they open, this month they close. This pay period they open, this pay period they close. Next month, and, and, and when you keep on doing positive, Time negative, you get zero. Have y'all been to school in any in, in days? Positive time negative is zero. So God is saying we end up lacking when we never should lack. We end up struggling when we never should struggle. Watch this. We end up broke when we never should be broke. <laughs> oh, I can't get no amen in the sanctified church. But I'm trying to tell us, God wants to stand as, as Jehovah Sabaoth. But he can't do it if we are robbing him. He can't do it if we're playing uh, a hide-and-go-seek with our time. <laughs> yeah, this month we hide with our time. We like aching. We burying our stuff in the ground. Uh -huh. We got we to gotta pay the credit card. We got to get the children some school clothes. Oh, you know, they got to have a uniform. So I got to make sure they have a uniform. I got to do this and I got to do that. And God is saying, no, no, no. You are going to uh, 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 activate the pest in your life, the the the, the, the devourer, the locust, uh -huh, the caterpillar, and they're going to eat your stuff up. And then you're going to want to charge God foolish like God did supply the need. No, God supplied the need. You kept it all for yourself and wouldn't give, that, give God that which belonged to him. God always supplies. Uh-huh, he's no liar. God always supplies. But do we always tithe? Do we tithe our time? We too busy. We can't help in church. We can't help in ministry because we got too many things we do. We try to get this. We got a hustle over here and a hustle over there. We got to do this. And, got, and then after we get all the hustles uh -huh, and rake in all the increase, we still won't tithe off the hustle. Y'all won't talk to me now. Y'all won't say nothing. Everybody got a business. Everybody got a business. But is everybody tithing off the business? Oh, God. I hit something then. Everybody probably finna cut me off now. Uh -huh. but, but, but God is saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you want me to rebuke. 
You want me to cover your children. You want me to cover your spouse. You want me to cover your house. You want me to cover your possession. But you keep robbing me. I can't rebuke when you steal. I can't rebuke when you rob. I can't rebuke when you disobey. I can't rebuke when you're rebellious. Are y'all all right? I'm going to stay on this to God say get off. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I'm trying to help us. I want us to walk into God's open door. But we can't walk into the door if we are the one closing the door. Oh, Jesus. We're the one slamming it in God's face. We're the one saying, I don't need no open door. He said, behold, I set before you an open door. But, 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 but could it be that I'm the one closing it? <laughs> it was open, but I closed it with my disobedience. I closed it with my rebellion. I closed it, glory to God, by robbing God. So God is saying, I need, I stand God. I rebuke it. I make sure you increase. I make sure it ends me. I make sure every bill get paid and give you some more left over. But you got to obey my word. Was anybody blessed by the word tonight? Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for continuing to shed the light on us tonight. Now I pray, excuse me, I pray that everyone that had an ear will hear what the Spirit has said to his or her church. I thank you, God, that even if we feel like we got tithing down, that we'll look at our time and we'll look at our talent. What can we do in your house? Do we make ourselves available for whatever is needed in, in your house? Do we tithe our talent? What have you put in our hands that we can use to help the kingdom? Do we, do we spend any time any week doing anything for your house? Except for coming to church, sit on the seat, get back up and walk out. God, God help us to understand. You require of us to tithe. You give us all these hours in the week. All these hours in the day, we give a man or a woman 40 plus hours a week on a job. And God, we don't have no time for you. We don't have time to pray. We don't have time to read your word. We don't have time to fast. We don't have time to help in the church. We don't have time to push the vision. Because we got to make sure we rake in all our blessings of us trying to bless ourselves. But God, help us to stop reinventing the wheel and trying to come up with some other way and just tap into your principles and your kingdom. And we will see that you already laid the blessing up for us. The wealth of even the sinner is laid up for us, the righteous. God, we give you praise tonight for your word. Thank you for all those that was listening. I believe this word found some good ground somewhere. I think that we'll be the better for being doers of your word and not just hearers only. We love you. We magnify you. We give your name praise. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's people said, amen.